where do you stand on uh, what, uh, marriage proposals at sporting events? Where do you stand on it? Man, I mean, it wouldn't be my pick, and thank goodness my guy knew me well enough to not do that. But I do enjoy it when other people, uh, you know, do it. But I, 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 I sort of hold my breath and think, is she going to say yes? If she does say yes, does she really want to say yes? Because how can you say no in a stadium full of people? I do get a little, like, you know, worried for her <laughs> when it starts to happen. But is that, I mean, I'm going to ask you, is this something you would do? You would never do this. Not in a million years would never, you do this. Never. No, never. I'm yeah. the guy yelling, don't do it. Right. <laughs> That's like in that there's always like nine guys or people who yell don't do it and I think it's funny every time. But from a male perspective, what would make you do that? <sighs> well, looking at these prices, I, I can't answer that question because we're, okay. we're bringing this up because there was a, a survey taken at sporting venues across North America. Mm -hmm. How much would it actually cost? We're talking about tickets. We're talking about proposal on the Jumbotron, all the stuff. How much would it cost for you to propose to your significant other at these venues? So Scotiabank Arena was 411 bucks. These are these are U.S. rates. 411 oh, US. bucks. Oh, okay. Must be love. At Rogers Center, 447 dollars to not only propose but to not see the Jays score a run. <laughs> So you get Sid all moves the things. Zero. You get all. I watched that last season. Prove me wrong. Right. Sign Otani, he'll shut up. Sign Otani, he'll shut up. Um, but 447 bucks. That on on the on the the ethics alone ethics. of proposing <laughs> proposing publicly a sporting event. Yeah. I'd say not looking at any of those costs. Yes. Say that's a bad idea. Those costs make it idiotic to me. You cannot spend money on an idea that bad. It's just because you don't know what reaction you're going to get, if it's a polite reaction or if it's an honest one, because you're under pressure. Oh, big time. It's just ridiculous. Just go to go to the Nikos. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, you're not to be whatever, but yeah. you're going to spend a little sure. more than that. Well, if you're going to spend, spend that, you know, yeah. It, it, try it, the tasting menu. Proposals get very, very expensive. So yes. I, I don't know. I look at that. I mean, the U.S. dollars puts it into a bit of a different category, but look at that. It's a bit, I mean, it's a bit of a bargain. Right. Because you get a whole hotel night stay. If you try to book a hotel in Toronto, it's very expensive. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't even need to actually, <laughs> maybe you fake the proposal and just get the deal. I don't know. But yeah. We, thank goodness we're both already engaged. Sid. Right, right. We don't have to worry about this. But stuff. just understand, it's, if you're thinking about doing this, look, I know you're in love and it's a special time for you. You're making a huge mistake if you're doing it and the San Jose Sharks are in the building.